Plants and animals are adapted to different environments. Identify each plant A to D. Choose from water lily, tropical plant, cactus, and fir tree. For each plant, say what type of environment it is adapted to. Use the words cold, hot, wet, and dry in your answers. Cactus is adapted to a hot and dry environment, like they are found mostly in deserts. Tropical plants. They are also adapted to hot and wet environment. Water lily or lotus, they are adapted to a wet environment. Fir tree, they are adapted to a cold environment. Match one of the following adaptations numbered 1 to 4 to each plant A to D. Number 1 is large leaves that can lose water. Those leaves leaves are of the plant given in B picture. Large flat leaves that float on water, they are related to the plant that's in number C picture. Needles instead of leaves that do not lose much water, that's for the plant in picture number D. Thorns instead of leaves which lose very little water, it's for the plant in picture A. Identify each animal E to H. Choose from polar bear, fish, wading bird, monkey, etc. For each animal, say what type of environment it is adapted to. Use the words hot, cold, wet, and dry in your answers. A wading bird is adapted to wet environment. Fish is adapted to a wet environment. Polar bear is adapted to a cold environment and the monkey is adapted to a hot and wet environment. The adaptations depend on where these animals or plants are usually found in. Match one of the following adaptations numbered 1 to 4 to each animal E to H. Number 1. Long arms and legs to climb up the tree and swing on branches to get food in forest. It's for number H, that's a monkey. Long legs to wade in water. Number E, that's wading bird. Thick layer of fat and fur to keep them warm. It's G, that's a polar bear. And gills to get oxygen from water. It's F, that's a fish. Next, there's a picture of an emperor penguin. This animal lives in Antarctica, which is very cold and full of ice and snow. Emperor penguins hunt for fish in the sea. The female lays one egg. The male keeps the egg warm while the female hunts for food. Read about the adaptations this animal has to survive in such a cold and icy environment. This is a picture of the emperor penguin. Make a list of the adaptations an emperor penguin has to survive in a cold, icy environment. Use the headings below. Nostrils take in heat to warm up icy air. Three layers of feathers to keep body warm. Oily feathers to keep body dry. A layer of fat under the skin to keep it warm. A good supply of blood to feed. Getting food. Flippers for swimming, streamlined shape for swimming fast, strong feet for swimming, and a layer of fat to feed off when looking after the egg. Looking after the egg. Special fold of skin to cover egg and keep it warm. Layer of fat to feed off when looking after an egg. Frogs have many adaptations that allow them to live either in a wet environment or a dry environment. Frogs may breathe through their skin or through their lungs. When they are in water, oxygen from the water is dissolved into the frog's thin skin. From there the oxygen passes through the walls of their skin. Frogs have many adaptations that allow them to live either in a wet environment or a dry environment. When they are in water, oxygen from the water is dissolved into the frog's thin skin. From there, the oxygen passes through the walls of the blood vessels into the blood. 
when on land frogs are able to breathe through their lungs at the same time as with their skin the lungs are much more efficient way for frogs to get oxygen frogs can close their nose to prevent taking in water into their lungs when they are swimming a frog's skin is covered with a slimy substance called mucus the mucus stops its skin from drying out frogs replace their skin weekly by pulling off the old skin to reveal new skin underneath a new skin every week makes sure that the skin stays soft and coated with the protective mucus frogs have webbed feet that allow them to move through the water more efficiently their strong hind legs help them to swim and leap better when they are on land they can see very well even in muddy water and in the dark use the information in this case study about frogs to complete this table here's a table that has been filled each of the part of the frog along with their adaptation which they have for each of the part in water as well as land has been given